Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem called minimum relations to make character frequencies unique. Um, so the problem says that we, we have a, a, a string is defined as good if there are no two different characters that have the same frequencies. So it's good if all of its characters have different frequencies. Um, and what we want is to return the minimum number of characters that we have to delete to make S good. Right? And so, for example, if two characters have the same frequencies, we can delete one of one occurrence of one of them, and that way they will be they will have different frequencies, right? Um, so the the frequency of a character is the number of times it appears, obviously. Um, and for example, if you take a look at this, A occurs two times, B occurs only once. So we are again we don't need to delete anything, so we return zero. Here. A occurs three times, B three times, so they have the same frequencies. So we can delete one B, but then the problem is that we have um, uh, the same number of occurrences for B and C, so we need to either delete B or C, right? So two, we, no matter what, how you do it, we end up with two. Um, yeah, so that's the main idea. If you take a look at this example, actually it's informative. So uh, C and E, C occurs two times, E occurs once, A three times, B two times, right? So A three times, that's good. B two times, B and C, so we need to delete one of them. So if we delete C, for example, then C and E each occur one time, right? So we'd have to delete one, right? And C now occurs, is no longer in the string, so we don't have to worry about it, and now we are good, right? So this is a good point here, is that if... Once a string occurs zero times, not in the... Let's say, for example, we have ED here, right? ED, F, a string like this. Um, so each of them occurs one time. So we need to do two deletions, delete F and D. So F and D occurrence is zero, but that doesn't count as frequency equal because they are simply not in the string, right? So we don't need to worry about them. Um, yeah, so keep that in mind. Um, now let's see how we can solve this. Um, okay, so let's see how we can solve this. So the main thing to think about here is that um, what we want is to have frequencies be unique, right? And so we want the number of occurrences of each characters to be unique, right? So what, what we can do first is get the frequencies. So in Python, you can do that with a map and then just go through the string and each time you encounter a character, a character you, you increment its occurrence by one. Or you can do it with, uh, in Python with collection counter. It doesn't matter, but we will end up with occurrence map. For example, with the first string A, A, B, B, C, we would have basically that A occurs three times, B occurs three times, and then C occurs two times. Okay? Um, and once we have this, what we want is to, uh, we can just sort this. Um, maybe an increasing order or decreasing order, it doesn't matter, as long as the ones that are equal will be next to each other. Um, and then, so once we sort it, so sort, um, then what we can do is just loop through it, right? So we loop through the character in the count. Um, of course, this will be, we can write this properly. And then if we find that, so at A we are fine because we haven't encountered 3 yet, so we should be good. But when we move to B, we need to check if the, this occurrence occurred before. right? If it did, then we need to decrement this count, make 2, and then add it to some data structure, so that when we get to C, we will find that 2 already exists. right? And so that data structure, that basically where we can easily uh, check if something is there is just a set, right? So we can have a set for whether a count exists or not. So let's call that exist. And then here, basically, when we encounter a count, we just check if the count is in that exists. That means we need to decrement it. And so we can do a while here because let's say we had a three, and then maybe uh, d two, and then we encounter b equal to two. Um, yeah. So for B, we first B was equal to three actually. So we found that count is equal to th exist already. So we decremented by one. 
but two also exist already. So we do we need to do a while log to check multiple times, right? Um, uh, even worse, it could be like a three, uh, d two, and maybe um, e one, and now we have b three, right? So we decrement first. We find that three exists already. We decrement again. We find that two exists already. We decrement again. We find that one exists already. So we need to do two modifications to make it zero. Three modifications to make it zero, right? But once it's zero, the letter is no longer in the string, we should have modified it again, because if we do minus one, that doesn't make sense. Um, like here, E has occurred zero, we didn't take care of it, right? Because it's not there. So we need to here add a check for count bigger than zero, okay? And what do we do each time? We decrement, right? So if we found that B equal to three exists already, then we want to decrement that count, okay? But we need, for our result, which is the number of uh, deletions we need to do, let's call it the result here equal to zero, equal to zero, we need to increment it here. Um, but what should we do now that we exit the while loop, right? So for this case, we decrement, and now um, b is equal to two, 2, right? We decrement again, so it's equal to 1. We should add that this one exists now because then if we have e again with occurrence of one we need to know okay this occurrence already exists this frequency already exists so we need to make this zero and so to do that we need to in our set exist we need to add count the new count after decrementing here as many times as we need to and that's pretty much it at the end we can return the result right um, so the main idea is keep a set of the frequencies collect the frequencies, sort them, and then just loop. And each time you encounter a frequency that existed before, we decrement the current character frequency, uh, add, uh, count that as a deletion, and then when, once you are done for that count, add it to the exist set for future iterations, right? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, now let's code this and make sure it passes test cases. Okay, so now let's write this, make sure it passes. Um, so we need occurrence. We can do it either for, uh, with a map or in Python, we can just use a counter that will count how many times each character occurs. And now we need the values sorted. So we can just get it sorted. We get the items um, in the collection counter. And then we need to sort it by uh, the number of occurrences, the frequencies. So that's why I'm going to do a lambda here um, and then take one because because when we do this uh, what will happen is that we would have a3 this is for for example the string um, a, a b c for this string what we'll end up with in occurrence is in occurrence dot items is this um, something like this b uh, two, three and then c once right so we'll end up with this, so that's why we want to sort it by um, 1, which will give us the number here. So this would be the number, actually. It's not a character, right? So we want to sort it by this, so we do x1. Um, and now we need the set that, um, that well, in which we start the frequencies. And then we need the result that we will return. And so for we can call it deletions, actually, to make it just easier to see. Okay, so we get the character and we get the count um, and then in these values and the while count is in the exist set and the count is bigger than zero we are doing this bigger than zero because once we delete all occurrence of a character we no longer need to take to handle it right it's no longer the string so we decrement count if we find that the frequency exists already. So actually, since we call it frequency, let's just rename it to frequency here. Um, and let's call these frequencies. Okay. Um, and then we need to increment our deletions because we just deleted. And now we need to take our frequencies and add the, the new count, right, for the next iteration. So we need to add the new frequency. And then at the end, we can just return result. Um, yeah, this is not a result. This is deletions now. Okay. 
And if we use more test cases, um, okay, so this is frequency now, so let's rename it. Okay, so that seems accepted. Let's submit. And that passes test cases. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. Um, thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye.